Over 800 million broiler chickens are reared annually in the UK for their meat. Over the last few decades, poultry scientists have bred meat type chickens to grow at an unnatural and ever increasing rate. Most are slaughtered at just 40 days of age or even younger. But how are they bred? Chickens become sexually active at around 20 weeks old and commercial breeders keep them for around one year. The company running the broiler unit we visited boasts it can hatch over 5 million eggs per week. But they have a major problem. If fed to appetite, the parent birds would quickly become clinically obese like their offspring, developing many kinds of life-threatening diseases. The producer's solution to this dilemma is to keep them on severely restricted rations. The parent birds you're about to see are not only living in appalling conditions, but you can be sure they're hungry too. Desperately hungry. The feather loss you can see here is caused by the much heavier, stronger males during mating, who often also damage the hen's skin with their claws. This little hen looks sick. She may die in the next day or two. And this hen has settled down on the dead body of another. In breeding units, the birds spend up to a year on the same increasingly soiled litter. The volume of faeces can result in ammonia gas levels reaching damaging proportions. The readings in this unit range from 37 to over 38 parts per million. Levels of 25 parts per million, much lower than those found here, have been found to damage birds' lungs and air sacs after only 48 hours. This hen is having difficulty walking, owing to a massive swelling on one hock, which has begun to bleed. Clearly she is suffering, and has been for some time. The size of the swelling proves that the legal requirement for daily inspections to check the birds are in a state of well-being are not being fulfilled. All the birds we looked at were suffering from painful, infected blistering on their feet caused by long-term contact with the ammonia-ridden litter. This bird's breeding days are over. We made the decision, for welfare reasons, to get her to a vet for immediate treatment. dreadful cruelty of the broiler breeding industry. We complained about this breeding unit to the RSPCA, who advised they couldn't find anything wrong except for the toe of one cockerel, and they found no cause to proceed with any action at this time. Following our complaint, we were no longer able to access the unit to check on the welfare of the birds.